Um, basically, what we have here is um, the, the new Galaxy Galaxy Pocket. Okay. Um, what I like about this device is actually quite a small device, very compact, fits quite nicely in the hand. Okay. So that's the whole idea around it. It's a nice, it's a compact device. Now, even though it's so compact, it's got a nice big 2.8 inch display on it. Right. Um, the device is also quite a powerful device in itself. It's got an 832 megahertz processor, well, which is actually quite um, quite quite substantial for for its price range and also for basically the device of its size as well. Okay. So basically, the processor will help with it. Obviously, just one much quicker to to command, obviously open up much quicker and also help you up much quicker as well. It's got a two megapixel camera. Okay, without flash, and um, the device will be running on HSTPA 3.6 megabits per second. So that obviously will assist with your um, quick web browsing, getting your emails much quicker, and obviously going to YouTube uh, much quicker as well. Right. Um, from a software point of view, it's running on Android um, 2.3 basically. So that's basically Gingerbread version 2.3, which is basically um, the, the late, most recent, uh, just before Ice Cream Sandwich um, on the Android platform. Right. Um, beautiful thing because um, with that you're basically getting um, high-end software which is very similar to find on our high-end device like the Galaxy Nodes and the S2 um, and you're going to be getting that on this device itself as well. So quick internet speed, nice and compact, nice large display and obviously powerful performance for that size as well. Okay. Um, basically just a few basic things on there that you get from Samsung Extra is easy to use interface which um, obviously when you so obviously this is your main display here, yeah? but when you go into the main display with Samsung, or when you go to menu with the Samsung setup, that you get a, a bit more user-friendly interface in itself, right? Um, Samsung will throw something called Social Hub on the, the, the device itself, which basically allows you to integrate all your social networking services, like Facebook and Twitter, emails and SMSs into one application, as opposed to having to have separate email accounts or SNS accounts on this itself. And you'll find basic things like GPS will be on there, Wi-Fi will be on there as well. You get Google Maps to help with your, uh, with your navigation, Google navigation, and you get things like Google Places. And beautiful, you get Polaris Office Viewer, which will allow you to view Excel, Word, and PowerPoint documents as well. So that's the gist of the device, and uh, what a nice little handy device. It's portable. Thank you.